Let's take a look at the role Service Manager plays within the closed loop incident process or CLIP. Oscar is a tier one operator doing event monitoring in HP BSM. Working from his watch list, Oscar can easily drive through his event queue by selecting the business service. When Oscar selects online banking, he sees that he has an event assigned to him. He looks at the details of the event and sees that HP Operations Orchestration has run an automated health check against the impacted application. Oscar goes back to the event and does a simple right click to open an incident in Service Manager. This creates the ticket right away and he sees the incident ID populate in his dashboard. This integration could also automatically open incidents when certain thresholds are met. He can also select specific runbooks for each event. Based on this event, he selects the Collect Web Logic Logs runbook and confirms that it ran successfully. Meanwhile, in Service Manager, Kimberly checks out this new incident and sees that the title and description have copied over from the event. She also sees that all of the journal updates have populated, including information about the automated runbooks that were completed and their results. The log shows that updates were made by HP BSM. Finally, Kimberly can see that this incident has attachments. She selects the zip file and sees that three WebLogic logs are available. This data is fantastic. It's a full audit report of what has been done with steps with all of the results. Kimberly resolves the incident and back on Oscar's watch list, he verifies that the incident has been resolved and he can now close the event. We've just seen how HP's integrated closed loop incident process reduced recognition and diagnosis times for incidents. It also reduced the workload on Oscar the operator and reduce the time it took him to repair and recover issues. Let's also see how Service Manager can automate routine tasks such as repetitive maintenance, change provisioning, and incident resolution through its integration with operations orchestration. Business user Will Bell has received a new laptop. He'd like to order software provisioning from the service portal to purchase and install the latest version of Microsoft Office on his new laptop. Here he selects the software provisioning request item and orders it. After the request is approved, the fulfillment request is generated automatically in the background. Based on the task planner definition in the request model, two request tasks are generated in the fulfillment phase. One is order software and the other is deploy software. The stock manager receives a notification email and logs in the system to handle the order software task. Here the system is automating the creation of the CI record, in this case the requested software, and then synchronizing the CI information with the CMDB. After this is completed, the first task is closed. Adrian Baxt is automatically assigned the software deployment task and it appears in his queue. The operations orchestration workflow for software installation is pre-configured in the task planner for the request model and is automatically attached to the request task once generated. The flow is then executed from the request task in the system. In this case, it automatically installs the requested software and communicates the result back to Service Manager. Microsoft Office has been successfully deployed by the operations orchestration workflow. The HP Service Asset and Configuration Management, or SACM solution, tightly links the investments of IT asset management with the activities of configuration management. The following scenario introduces a new server for the SAP application from procurement to deployment. Peter Chavut, the business user, needs a new server to install SAP for the project he's working on. Peter submits a request in the service portal to purchase and install the new server. Once the request is approved, the fulfillment process is automatically initiated in Asset Manager. Brett Smith works in Procurement and logs into Asset Manager to view the request. He approves the request and also places a purchase order. Several days later, he receives the asset 
assigns an asset tag, and puts the item into stock. Before deployment, this asset is enriched with additional attributes such as name, domain, and IP address. A scheduled process will synchronize this new CI from Asset Manager to UCMDB. This process also syncs the CIs from UCMDB to Service Manager, creating the new CI there as well. To deploy the server to the environment, the Change Analyst logs into Service Manager and submits a standard RFC to install Windows 2012 R2 on the server. He then proceeds with the RFC through the implementation phase. After the change is deployed, the server is then automatically discovered by UCMDB's Universal Discovery. Once the discovered data is validated and authorized, the server is also enriched with the discovered data such as hardware and software specifications. The UCMDB then synchronizes this discovered information with Asset Manager and Service Manager and automatically reconciles it with any changes. The change is closed successfully after verification and review. The system then notifies Peter that his service request has been successfully fulfilled. HP has numerous out-of-box integrations to various data sources for both HP and other vendor tools. Service Manager also has a well-defined Web Services API that includes both SOAP and REST capabilities. In addition, HP Connected provides hundreds of predefined integrations to connect virtually any software or data source to HP Service Manager. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on HP Service Manager. We hope you've seen that HP Service Manager is the best choice for IT service and support management. Service Manager enables both IT and business end users to get the most out of their IT services.